Hi guys! Happy Friday! Um, I am going to refresh the group, make sure I'm in the right group and in the in the event. But my name is Ashley Patrick. I am the health and nutrition coach, and I'm super excited to share with you tonight. Um, yep, there I am. The five practices to start every morning with gratitude. So we've shared in this group. I know I've shared before why to be grateful, like what it does for your mindset, what it does for your day, how it, it leads into like the rest of your week and your months and years and holidays and everything, right? So now I'm going to give you some five simple things you can do um, in the morning or one of them is at night to help you wake up feeling a little more grateful. Um, and they're really simple things. So have you ever heard or have you said or have you felt um, somebody say or you felt like people say, have, wow, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed or I've done that with my kids. The kids come downstairs and they're just grumpy and I'm like, go back to bed and roll over and get up on the other side of the bed because we've all been there, right? We've all felt like exhausted or whatever the mood, um, but you just wake up and you're just grumpy. And there's been a few times where I've actually went back and crawled back into my bed because I'm like, I'm not ready to get up today. I just need to go back to bed. Um, so this is going to help you try and kick that, right? Um, so feeling grateful is the strongest emotion because it's both a feeling and an action. When you feel grateful, you're changing things that you see, how you think, but then you're acting differently from it too. So great news. This is totally easy. It's very, very simple. Um, it's incredibly easy to incorporate a small change or a small task into your day to make you feel waking up more grateful and just running your day, rocking your day. Um, so the first one, first things first, this is one that you want to do in bed before you even get out of bed. So you wake up and look around you. So open your eyes. There's got to be something in your room that makes you feel grateful. Okay. So it might be a picture frame on the wall. Maybe it's your wedding pictures. I don't have any up. I really need to get some. Um, or it's a picture of your family, like on your desk. If you have a desk in your room or your end table, maybe it's a picture of you and your best friend and you just wake up feeling, oh my gosh, I remember that moment. I remember that day. I remember how I felt. Um, maybe it's your spouse next to you, uh, snoring away or whatever it is. Or maybe it's, you hear your baby snoring or breathing through the baby monitor, okay? So just different things like that. When you're laying in bed, open your eyes and look around or listen, and there's gotta be something in there that makes you feel a little more grateful. So this love that you feel right away before you get out of bed is gonna lead into your day. Um, it'll carry you through the day, but then it also might be something that makes you wanna jump out of bed. Um, it, yeah, it might even get you out of bed, get you so excited to wake up. Maybe it's, you're laying there and you're thinking of, or you see something, a gift that you got from one of your students and you're like, oh, I can't wait to see them today. Like they just make my day. Something as simple as that, okay? Number two, journal, pen and paper. Um, sometimes it is hard for people to look around and find things that they are grateful for. Um, so writing it down, and this one, just spend a few minutes in the evening. So this would be every night. I have a journal here I'm going to show you, but um, spend a few minutes in the evening to write down things that happen throughout the day that you're grateful for or something that happened that made you smile. And then in the morning, go back and read through. It does not have, you do not have to buy a fancy journal. It can be a scratch piece of paper. It can be a notebook, like 50 cent notebook they sell when school supplies go on sale. Um, just write in there however much you want. There's no rules. It's your journal. You do what you want. You don't even have to call it a journal if that freaks you out. Uh, there's some people I'm like, they just don't journal. I'm like, well, don't call it a journal. Um, but if you read it the next morning, even if it's two sentences, it brings you back to, back to that moment. Um, and you get those happy emotions again, you know? So even if it's Maybe something really exciting didn't happen that day. Look two days back, but keep it all in the same notebook. Like I have this that I write my notes in for this. I can go back 
and just say, oh, I remember that day. It made me so excited. It made me feel good. Whatever. Okay. Um, the journal that I did find recently that I like, it kind of prompts you. Um, sometimes I sit down with just pen and paper and I'm like, I don't even know what to write. Like it just, my brain does not work. Um, so this, I do like journals that kind of prompt me what to do. So like this has a today and a tomorrow. So today it says I took care of myself following ways and you just write like got adequate, got adequate sleep, how much, move my body, how, did some fun, pleasurable just for me, like what was it? You write it down and this day we went with the kids to Country Blossom Farms, which is like a pumpkin patch around here, um, took time for reflection, meditation, prayer. There's just like things you check off and I'm a check the box kind of girl. Um, but then it says, at the end here, it's like an act of kindness I did for someone else was. So like this first part, you fill out kind of in the morning and the bottom half is in the evening. So an act of kindness I did, my most memorable moment for the day I am grateful for. And then you fill out tomorrow. My purpose tomorrow is to blank. I will make time for this and a courageous conversation I need to have is blank. Okay. But on this, I like it because it's every day there's different questions. It's not the same thing over and over. Um, some of them are the same, but then there's some like, it would feel awesome to accomplish or complete this. When I feel stressed, I will blank, you know, kind of fill in the blank. This is from Target. It's called Calm the Chaos. <laughs> Sorry, my life. Um, it's a daily practice for a more peaceful life. That's what it says on the bottom, but target.com or Target stores. I will be giving one of these away. We do have a gratitude, um, challenge going on this week and then through this weekend. If you have not got in on those posts, you can go back and do it now. Start now. I'll do a drawing next Thursday. I'm going to do the drawing. So then you guys have a little bit of time to get in there. If you didn't get in right away and you're a little behind, that's totally fine. But I will give, I'll do a drawing for anybody who participates. You'll get one of these for free. I'll mail it to you. Um, but basically journal, pen and paper, write down things you're grateful for, and then read them the next morning. So it doesn't take that much time. Um, it could just be a couple minutes or if you're sitting at your desk at work or whatever it is, okay? Number three, three, number three, start slowly. There is no time for gratitude in a rushed morning, okay? When you are rushing around, how do you feel? You feel a little overwhelmed, a little stressed, maybe you're feeling like you forgot something and you're just driving yourself crazy. You're not sitting there thinking about what you're grateful for. No, you're like pretty much going kind of crazy, right? So slow down. That's one thing you can do. Slow down, especially this time of year with holidays and that. Just chill down, slow down. So set your alarm back five to 10 minutes. This does not have to be an hour, okay? You do not have to wake up an hour earlier. Five to 10 minutes, okay? Set your alarm back and start on a more relaxed, slow morning. So spend that extra time thinking about positive things ahead for the day, maybe things you're excited for, um, and even getting excited to see the people that you work hard with every day. You guys are kicking butt at school, especially now with the holidays coming up. It's hard for the kids to stay focused on schoolwork. I remember... Uh, this was my worst time of the year because I was just so excited for going to grandma and grandpa's or whatever's coming up, you know, so this is hard for them to focus. So just sit there, slow down, think about the day, the people you get to see that you're excited for and how hard you guys work for everything you do. So slow down. That's easy, right? It's easy, but it's not. So be mindful about it. Okay. Number four, change your tone. This is one that really changed my life, and that might sound a little cliche, but gratitude is all about focus, okay? Um, so focus, gratitude is about focus, and you need to focus on positivity. If you are complaining, if you are around people that are constantly complaining, and I did share a post earlier this week about, like, the five people that you surround yourself with, um... This isn't just like your family, okay? Your family is one thing, but I have three kids and a husband, so that's four, and I talk to my mom every day. Like, those are not just your five people. Um, it would be like your coworkers you talk to, your friends you talk to, the maybe your friends you go hang out with, other family members that call or text you often. So pay attention to what you're surrounding yourself with, and this isn't like kick out your family and 
don't talk to your friends anymore. That's not it. Not at all. I'm not telling you to get rid of friends. Nothing. But it's kind of changed your tone. If Are they calling you and complaining because you kind of feel into that? Do you help them complain more? Um, I do have a family member that calls me all the time. And every time she calls, I know she's going to complain about something. And it really brings me down. And then I notice, like, as I'm on the phone with her, I might snap at my kids a little more or at my husband or something will happen like the dogs will be fighting and I'll just freak out verse just kind of not taking it you know like not taking changing my tone around while well, she's just having a bad day you know it's not me like I'm not having a bad day I'm having a fantastic day um she just trusts me to complain a little bit but I'm not gonna let that affect my day right so complaining brings on a negative emotion and tends to raise your feelings of anxiety and depression. Um, so a little bit of my Crohn's story I want to share. So I have Crohn's disease. I recently had surgery at July 30th. So we are almost four months out from surgery. And I got sick this last week. And we don't know what it is. If it's a medication I just started. Or if it's kind of. I'm still in my recovery um, area. Like six to nine months post-surgery. And honestly I was feeling so good. Like I was doing my workouts. I started doing hour workouts versus my 30 minutes. Don't call me crazy because I thought people who worked out for an hour are crazy. Maybe I am. Whatever. I'm okay with it. But I started doing that. I was really hitting it on my nutrition. Like I was feeling good about the bot or the foods I was putting in my body. I was having a bunch of energy. Like on a positive note, I was so busy. But I was maintaining um, a lot of things and family time and work and not. And then I got sick. And it hit me and I was like, I went from feeling freaking amazing one day and then not being able to get out of bed until 6.30 p.m. the next day. And this was on Wednesday. I was really, really sick. So that's why I didn't go live yesterday. I was still struggling with that. I still have some stomach issues. But um, but my mindset around it, like the first, when it first happened was like, oh, you know, I kind of went to the negative, like, this is stressful, like, why is this happening? What did I do? I'm just sick of being sick, you know, and I kind of was focusing on the negative about it. Um, and then I kind of switched my thought of like, you know what? No, I've been so busy lately. We've been traveling a lot for hockey. We have practice or something every day. Like, I'm running my kids to and from school every day, three times a day. I'm out of the house. Every three hours, I'm leaving my house to go drop off a kid or pick one up. And... Like, I've been running nonstop, and this is, like, I believe in God. Okay, so my thing was, like, this was God saying, you need to rest. Like, you need to chill, slow down. You are going too crazy here. So, instead of, like, focusing on what I couldn't do now that I'm sick, I'm doing a workout with my really good friend, and she's on day four, and now I'm stuck at day two because I couldn't work out the last two days. And instead of being like, oh, I can't do it. Now I'm just going to quit. And she, I let her down. And this is not true. Like, I will catch up when I can. I cannot jump in and do a workout right now. And that's okay. Right? My nutrition has been off, but I have no appetite. And that's okay. So we just sometimes need to slow down and change your tone around what's going on in the world. Maybe it's Thanksgiving dinner. You had this planned. All of a sudden your kids get sick or... COVID is still around, you know, so when you get that and you can't go out, well, instead of focusing on what you cannot do, focus on maybe we'll start a new tradition. Maybe we'll just have our family at home with Thanksgiving dinner. I saw Mallory shared about how her husband had to do all the cooking for Thanksgiving because they were all sick and how I thought it was funny, but also like cool. Like how cool is it that her, I think it was her, her mom was coaching and teaching him how to make the turkey and maybe doing things he hasn't done before and now it's like way to go Mike you're taking one for the team you know so it's just awesome like I saw that as like oh my gosh I'm glad you shared that how cool is that that's a memory you guys will never forget like remember the year when we were all sick and Mike had to cook for all of us like that's something you'll never forget it's a memory right instead of being like oh our Thanksgiving is ruined this is horrible like change your tone. Life happens. You got to be able to bounce around it, right? So speaking in a more grateful tone is going to help you have a grateful morning. Okay. Um, and then five, number five, I'm almost done guys. Um, stick with it. So you are not going to wake up 
tomorrow morning, do all these five things or one of them. And from there on forward, like have no trouble doing it. No, it's a new routine. These are new things. If you did them already, like if we all were raised, like every morning you do these five things, I would not be coaching on it. I would not be telling you about it because we would all be doing it. Nothing new, right? So not going, you're not going to wake up in the morning and feeling grateful from doing one or all five of these things once and then never have to do them again, right? You're going to have to do it. So there's a saying, I kind of hate it, but I say it all the time too. Practice makes perfect. First off, nobody's perfect. So throw that out the window. Uh, but practice makes perfect. If you continue practicing it, you're going to get better and better and better. So start slow. Start with one of these and work your way up. And there's so many other things. You don't even have to do all five of these. It's not like you all five, all in or nothing. Okay. This maybe one of these things will help you and you'll rock your days from here on out. Majority of them because life happens. And maybe you're already doing a few of these and just adding on one more. But there's so many other things out there. It's not just these five things. There's so many other ways to wake up grateful. And maybe you're not a journal person. That's totally fine. Don't do it. Like try it out for a week. If it's not your jam, don't do it, right? Try something new. Um, but you're not going to wake up perfect. We always coach or tell our kids, I'm a mom of three, you know. So my daughter's in hockey. My son's learning how to skate. You're going to fall down. You got to get back up. If you keep falling down, you keep failing. You're failing forward. You're getting better, right? If you're never failing at anything, I feel like you're not progressing. Um, so you got to learn, make mistakes, and learn again. Learn more, right? So that's what I got for you. If you are someone in this group that needs a little more accountability through the seasons um, that are coming up, the holiday season, there is New Year's is coming up. Christmas is like 30 days away or less, okay? Um, so if you need a little more accountability, if you want to get in a routine, a health routine, if you're looking at changing your nutrition, maybe working out, adding workouts, or continuing with what you are but you want a little more accountability with it, um, I have a group starting in December. It is a paid to play program, but basically you pay a membership fee for one time and you are in for the rest of the years that I'll be coaching. So the rest of my life. Okay. Um, but it's a one time fee. And when you're in there, you're going to get accountability. You're going to get access to like the Netflix of workouts. Um, so we've got everything from yoga, meditation, to weight training, to cardio, to running programs, to biking programs, um, pretty much everything in there. We'll find something that fits for you. Um, and then I offer meal plans and just two different nutrition programs that could work for you. But my main thing in my group is the mindset work that comes into it because you could have everything provided for you. You could have somebody drop a bike off at your house, bring you weights, bring you a yoga mat, give you a connection to all the workouts you want that you can do from your house, which these are all workout from your house. But if you don't have the mindset to wake up and do it and continuously do it, it there's no point, right? It's not going to get you there. So um, I really focus a lot on mindset. And this next December here, this December um, coming up, we're going to focus on the high five mindset from Mel Robbins. I love Mel Robbins. She did the five second rule. Oh, she's my favorite. Um, but I'm going to coach on that weekly and then I'll have other things like the nutrition and being active and different things like that. So if you're interested in my, um, boot camps, type boot camp here or message me, I can get you info on that so you can get prices. There's a few different ways to get started. Um, but if not, that's totally fine too. And we will see you next Thursday. I'm going to do a drawing for the journal. Um, if you win the journal and you're just not a journal type person, this is not your jam, let me know. I'll send you a gift card instead. Um, that when you win, when you win, we'll talk about that, but go ahead, go back and check out our five days of gratitude that we've done so far. It's going to be a seven day gratitude. So I'll go through the weekend here. Um, I have labeled all the posts, so it's easy for you to go back. If you go in the search bar in this group on the top, you can type day one, and it'll bring up day one, post one and two. So every day there's two posts, okay? Um, but if you go in and you can follow those right from the beginning and 
All you gotta do is comment and interact in the post and then you'll get entered in the drawing every day for this or a gift card, whatever you prefer. Um, coffee card, I'll throw in whatever. I'm not picky. Um, and then, yeah, we'll have the drawing next Thursday when I come live. And then next Thursday will be December already. Holy moly. Um, and we'll have a whole nother theme of topics to talk about. So let me know if you guys have any questions, if you want to get in on my boot camp, camp type boot camp or message me. And then I hope you guys have a great weekend. If you have any more Thanksgiving celebrations going on, um, enjoy your time. Be a little more grateful. Wake up with a little more gratitude. Try these five different things, one at a time or all five, whatever works for you. And let me know how they go. I'd love to hear from you guys. So have a good night and we will see you later.